Marbag time. Got a few things here. Let's see what we've got. It's like an interesting package. Not sure what's in here. It's like I said, a bit of a rough trip. Hmm, it's got a spanner. Ah, here we go. This gives it away. Pretty rods. Ah, okay. This is a kit I picked up. Now, this is a 3D printer Z-axis dual upgrade kit. Now, I did one recently. I actually picked up two for both my Ender 3s. And I did a video on the Ender 3 fitting it. I actually did it on the Ender 3 V2, is when I put it on. And there's two versions of these upgrade kits. You can get one which does like the dual stepper motor thing, which is what I've installed on my V2. And one of the things I raised in that video is that it's possible that the actual Z-axis, each one, could potentially drift out of sync with each other, like if the motors aren't powered and you try and move it or you try and mess with the extruder head or something like that, you may put one, you know, weight on one side and make that side move so you end up, see if you can actually be perfectly parallel and horizontal you could actually drift off very slightly and it will stay that way all the way up and down, right, because once they're actually powered it will just keep in sync with itself so what I was, mentioned in that video is that there's another option which is to get a belt driven type which what happens basically is you then have a you can just top brackets um, you have a belt drive which links the two screws together right so you put basically a dual screw here like you do on the dual stepper motor version and what you do is you link the two together so there's a belt in here and there's some little couplings which go on top of these screws and that then ties them together so you can use one stepper motor to shift up and down both sides and in here is the bracket which, which would normally attach which I've already got obviously because I've installed it on the dual stepper motor version now I'm actually not going to strip off the dual stepper motor I quite like that setup I like the geometry in fact it's going to be quite even if you've got belts you're always going to have a little bit of play and a little bit of slack you're always going to get a little bit there having the dual steppers to me is better now what I wanted to do was actually kind of merge the two together I wanted to tie the tops of the two Z screws together with a belt and use the two dual steppers. That way they cannot go out of sync with each other. Once they're set up, that's it. Because you won't be able to shift enough on the belt to actually go out by a lot. You know, currently you could potentially shift out by you know a quarter of a turn. But you're not going to get that if you've got a belt joining the two together at the same time. So both models will be in sync to each other. There'll be enough play in the belt to make sure that they're not fighting each other either because they do have to go in steps and if you get asked all steps but they're really small steps by combining the two together I should be able to actually have a really good accurate Z axis which doesn't actually have problems with the potential of them going out of sync with each other and having a non horizontal axis so that's the plan in theory it will work now the thing is these are longer screws right these need to be longer because they allow for the belts being at the top I actually think I can probably just take off the brackets I've already got on top of mine with these little brackets like this I think I should take those off the top of mine and just put these couplers below them because I don't mind losing a little bit of Z height it doesn't matter to me um, I don't use the full height anyway because I've got my spool holder on the side of it to get better alignment I've actually got room to actually put these little pulleys with very accurate description um, I've got room to put those underneath the existing brackets that are at the top of the Z screws and then I can put the belt on there and obviously I've got to put a tension on stuff on it which is what this is let's see how I come out now but I'll, I'll look at that anyway I may or may not do a video about it I'm sure yet but uh, that's the plan that way they won't go out of sync and I'll have dual Zs but yeah you could always do this kit instead instead of having dual Z motors you could just have the belt drive which is probably not quite as good but pretty good it's still a massive upgrade over the original now the three packages all came together in the same bundle or actually I could tell there's more than one thing in the package side up already which got us down to these ones so let's find out what's in here basis these are lightning cables this is the two meter one another two meter one the base is a brand I trust I do reasonable quality stuff so I've, I've had basic stuff many times and I've always been really happy with it so I don't mind getting that brand because it does seem to be a decent one and here's another one which is three meters long 
So yeah, the, the wife keeps destroying cables, and so I need to get another one. Hey. Two hours later. What I meant to say is that these cables get really old, and uh, they need replacing from time to time. Micro switches, right. Now, I was working a project, which I might mention a few times. I'm actually going to revisit the project and do a full video on it. I didn't do a video on it initially, but I'm going to revisit it and tidy it up a little bit, and I will do a video on it then once it's actually finalised. Um, anyway, I need some micro switches, and I realised, although years ago I used to have micro switches, I've gradually used them, and I went to go and you know, find one. I thought, well, I've only got a choice of like two, so I better stock up. So I've got a few different ones, I've got some with a little wheel on them, um, different sizes, I think, different lengths maybe, yeah, I think these ones are the same type, I've got these ones with the big levers on them instead, so you can always cut the levers down if they're too long, that's why I've got the long lever one, because if you don't want that long, you can just cut it off, and you've got a short lever one, gives you the options, um, you know, it's nice to have the lever being quite long if you need it. So yeah, I've got some more coming too, I think, but uh, these ones got rollers, these are just plain levers. Now that's why I bet not have micro switches when I need them, which is rare actually, you don't often use them, but when you need them, you need them. So I'm not sure what's in this one, this is a bit already half torn open. Oh right, now I know what they are, okay. So I was showing these a while ago. Well, I was doing it, I mean, getting paranoid now. Um, okay, one's there mangled. It's fine, the rubber. <laughs> I needed some more keyboards because one's playing up and I wanted to get some extra spare ones. And I saw this version, which has actually got this two-tone version, which I thought might be a bit nicer. As long as they work the same way as existing, then it would be alright. I thought two tone looks a bit nicer than the plain black ones, which I think I've also got here, right? No, these are all two tones. All these are two tones. So I, did, I think I did get some plain black ones as well. So I've got a few more coming, I think. But, uh, yeah, rubber keyboards. Basically weatherproof. Basically weatherproof, not completely. I mean, they kind of are. And they good that seal is in here around this wire. Could be a bit tighter. I might put some silicon around that. But yeah, these are used that all, so they do need to be weatherproof. Which is why they're rubber. It's not because I want to transport them and have them rolled up or anything like that. It's purely because they need to be weatherproof. So, because they do get used in the rain. But yeah, I thought two tone would be quite nice. I think they look a lot better. Seems my wife has IT issues, that's why she's staring at me. I was right to be paranoid. Check out the videos down below. Subscribe. Click the Patreon link so I can buy more interesting keyboards and stuff, maybe. I don't know. Bye.